Kicking off this list of open source Android applications, we have Reef, which is a productivity application with focus time, app usage tracking, routine creation. It basically helps keep your productivity go with tools that keeps you away from your phone. So this big button is the focus mode. When you tap on it, you get the timer screen. Of course, you can create custom times, plus there are presets readily available. You could enable flexible mode where you can pause and resume timer countdown sessions in case you take breaks during productivity sessions. You can also create routines like workout sessions, whether daily or weekly, and even set app limits, perfect for work sessions for example. So whenever the routine begins, you can only use certain applications for a limited amount of time. It also lets you whitelist applications you will still wish to be using during focus sessions and any other application will immediately be closed when you attempt to launch it. Aside all these, it has a modern UI which is appealing to use. If you tend to forget passwords of your various accounts, passwords to meetings or any other passwords, you can use this application called Passwords. It is free and open source. You just store as many passwords as you can and the good thing is you get to create master password to the application itself even before going in to store passwords. And this adds another level of security. And as I mentioned, passwords aren't for social media accounts only, could be passwords to regular meetings, passwords to other devices. In fact, you could even store other information like birthdays and others. You just have to identify them as much and you can even add notes to what you save. The good thing is the master password you create before entering the application, cause without it, anyone could just open the app and easily see what you saved. So be sure to check it out. And guys, you can still find out more new useful Android applications from my best apps of the month of November video. You know, most video player applications support adding one subtitle at a time, while DS player allows adding two subtitles and displaying them at the same time. And for each, you can handle the operation and multitasking one swipe makes it better. With it, you can swipe from the edge of your screen to launch applications and even perform certain actions and more. Link in the video description or simply tap the video at the end screen once you are done with this video. Moving on, if there is a particular task you do multiple times daily at a consistent interval, you should check out Ray Reminder. It is simple and straightforward. You just set the interval in hours or minutes and that's it. Once you turn it on, you get notified at the next reminder time. The only downside is it only takes one task reminder. But maybe that's all you need. However, if you have multiple tasks that need interval reminders, then you have to check out other applications like Realarm, which works pretty well. And of course, you can customize the title and add additional notes and customize the notifications as well, or even allow text to speech. One thing I always appreciate is a modern version of utility applications, whether to replace default apps or just a clean redesign. This app called MPVX or MPV External brings a modern look to watching local videos on your phone. It has this clean material you design with a neat organized folder arrangement. At the video playback screen, there is a lot under the hood like frame navigation. In case you want to grab a screenshot of a certain frame, you get that with this application. It supports subtitles with customizations like delay, speed and color. You can add external audio, change audio channels, there is sleep timer as well. It supports picture-in-picture, -picture, zoom, on-screen gestures and more, and there is more configurations you can make in the settings. So for a reliable local video player, here is a good alternative you can try out. When it comes to note-taking applications, aside the basic necessary features which they should all have in common, other features become relative. What I might be looking for will be different from what you might be looking for to make your ideal note-taking application kind of complete. And personally, I use Google Keep as my main note-taking application. However, one thing missing in it for me is reducing the note preview lines. I hate it so much seeing the preview taking so much space and there is no settings to reduce it. So I came across this open source alternative called Another Notes. And I say alternative because it has almost every feature Google Keep has. Labels, notes reminders, similar swipe gestures, pinning notes, sorting notes. Plus what I really look out for is maximum lines in preview. Whether in the grid layout or the list layout, I can reduce it to just two lines, the title inclusive. Few things it lacks compared to Google Keep are 
label color coding, and text formatting, which are not real deal breakers for me. Plus, you can back up and restore data as well. Four Stop Helper is an application that makes four stopping applications easy as the name suggests. It loads all apps installed on your phone, and you can simply tap on an application, which takes you to the app's info page where you can stop it running. So in case there are applications running in the background and you have to go to the app settings, find each of them before performing that action, here you just find the app, one tap and you are there. Plus you can pin apps for quicker access, sort applications or use the search. If you have tons of photos and videos which need cleaning, Ultimate Photo Cleaner makes this super easy by organizing your photos and videos into albums. You just choose a particular album, swipe left to delete and right to keep. And it doesn't stop there. You get to review all of it and then hit delete. Keep in mind you need to upgrade the application to their premium version to be able to delete video files as well. If not, you will have to hit skip video anytime a video pops up to be deleted. On the app's homepage, you get the data on how many you've deleted, reviewed and the storage saved. And then we have Offline Translator, which is also free and open source. It can help translate between languages whether you input a text or add an image with text on it, or take a photo. It works really well and can even switch up text directly on images using OCR technology while still giving you the text translated beneath it for you to copy. And it works offline once you download the language packs to your library. Pretty sure this application can come in handy at some point. Let me know some of your favorites lesser known open source Android applications and I'll be glad to check them out. Again, find out more useful applications by clicking on the card at the top right corner or from the video at the end screen. Leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel as well. And as always, thank you for watching.